Thank you. Wow, it's, uh, it's different to be back in this context. I feel like I should be getting boochies or coffee or something. <laughs> Spending the time that I did as a PR intern or heading over to the equipment room doing picking up some towels or, or something along those lines. But uh, it is really special to be back here uh, where I did get my first opportunity. And what I'd first like to do is just thank Randy Lerner, his sister Nancy, uh, his mom, Mrs. Lerner, for this uh, and the organization and, and Mike for this incredible opportunity and, and in what my mind is uh, an incredible honor. And uh, one of the things that I was so deeply impressed with in talking to learners is how much they care about this team, how much they care about this city, how much they care about their fans. And when I first came to Cleveland, I was a 23-year-old ball boy, and I, I had to explain that to my mom, and um, I had a lot of student loans, and she, she sees this picture of me. I'm with 11 and 12-year-olds. I got my arm around them. We got our towels on. It's a hard sell. It's a hard sell. And I kept saying, I'm, Mom, this is the Cleveland Browns. Do you understand? The Cleveland Browns. She, she didn't really understand that. You know, it was, uh, it, it, it took some explaining. And when Randy called me last week, it was the same feeling, that, that same level of excitement, that same level of pride. It was the dog pond. It was um, Jim Brown. It was all those, those special things that one of the most storied franchises in, in NFL history and arguably the most storied franchise in NFL history. And I remember thinking about the fans, and I thought, you know, all fans, they love football, okay, and they love their team. And the difference is that, that Cleveland fans, that they, they live football, and it's, it's a, a special intensity. Now, throughout the course of my career, I've, uh, I've been very lucky. I've had really great mentors. I've been a part of very special organizations, and I've learned a lot along the way. And my last three years with the New York Jets as a first-time head coach was invaluable. And, and I'm proud of what we did at the Jets. Um, two out of three winning seasons. But what I'm most proud of is the people that we brought into that organization, uh, the players that we brought into that organization, and really the organization that we were starting to build. I have a, a very distinct vision of, of a team. I have a very distinct vision of an organization and it goes back to what I call truth in sports. And to me, truth in sports is about not just having talented players, but having talented players with character. Having a group of players and coaches and everybody who's involved in the organization that's selflessly and passionately driving towards the same goal. Nobody worries about the credit. Everybody worries about the result. And, and and I'm, I'm going to be vigilant about that. I have three sons. And I was telling Julie, and I, I told Randy this, I want my three boys to be Browns fans, not because their dad's the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. I want them to be Browns fans because of what we do on Sunday. I want them to be Browns fans for what we do the other six days of the week. And. When I was here the first time, I made a lot of friends in Cleveland, and I really know what good, hardworking, caring people are in this city. And what I want to promise to them is we're going to have good, hardworking, caring people in this organization, and we're all going to be working towards the same goal. And I promise you that that's the vision and that's the that's what we'll be pushing forward every single day, and that's what we'll be working for every single day. Again, I, I thank the Lerner family for this opportunity, and to me, great honor. I couldn't be happier to come home to Cleveland and to see a lot of old friends here, and I'm excited about getting to work and, and moving forward. So thank you very much, and uh, go Browns.
In addition to the uh, tradition, when you